Sadiq, uh, belated, welcome to uh, Welling United. First of all, uh, how pleased are you to be here for the, the run-in for this season? I'm very pleased to be here. Um, you know, Welling's always been a club that's close to home. I grew up just around the corner, so I've actually followed Welling a lot growing up as well. So to be here and actually be a part of the team, it's a very good feeling. It's funny, isn't it, kind of going full circle because born around the corner, like you say, but you've been all over the place. You've had a really eclectic career. Um, tell us about some of those experiences, going out to America, to college, and then yeah. going around Europe and all that kind of stuff. It's, it's a huge amount of experience you've gained. Yeah, it's just a, a life experience, really. You know, sometimes um, you get to a point in life where you start considering other options, and I was one of the fortunate ones to have the opportunity to literally go all around the world. So, yeah, it's been, it's been an amazing experience for me. I've learned a lot of different things played under a lot of different coaches and co cultures and everything like that so now to be back home um, right now and just to really try to settle with my family as well it, it's really um, nice and just settling it must yeah. have been uh, it's very brave as a youngster when going out to america like you did at the age of what were you 18 yeah. 19 at the time and yeah. uh, and getting those experiences i mean yeah do you look back at that thinking that's one of the best decisions you've ever made definitely definitely because you learn a lot you learn a lot you grow as a player you grow as a person and a human being because it's a big world out there and unless you go and explore it you never really know what you're going to come across but as i say all the time football is one language so going there to be able to play football has always been the highlight of it all and yeah it's just been a really amazing experience yeah You've been training with the lads now for a few weeks and yeah. maybe a bit longer, I think I could get that right, but yeah. um, played in that um, exhibition game against Soccer University, scored a couple of goals yeah. uh, under the Elias of, uh, of Bala. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> um, it. Because it that one up abroad as well, yeah. Bala. <laughs> so um, again, like, it's been a really good um, you know, six weeks or so and yeah. uh, uh, it must be pleasing to, to, to show what you can do now but for, for the real thing, if you like. Yeah, 100% because... Um, one of the first things when I first come into Welling, I really realised how good the group was. It's not every time you go into a change room and the group is so welcoming. So I found that here at Welling with the gaffer, the players. So just really to be able to go out there on the field and just really try to help in whatever ways I can, it's a really great feeling. Yeah. And we've seen what you can do already. We, we saw you had a really good start uh, against Ebsfleet on yeah. Tuesday. First of all, it must have been really pleasing to get off the mark, um, get 90 minutes under the belt and score a goal. Yes, yeah, always the first goal is always um, the great one because it can come after five games, it can come after one as it did for me. So I'm really pleased with that. To score a goal on my debut is always a great feeling and I just hope I can push on and help the team more from there. And so the fans who may not have seen you in that game against Oak Universities and on Tuesday, I mean, you, you, I mean pace is, is, is one thing that really stood out to me. But what can fans expect from you and your attributes? Yeah, so um, I'm good in front of goal. I am quick, I'm strong and I'll fight for the team. So um, no matter what, I'll always give my all. And hopefully it's going to be enough to help push the team to another level. That's right. Welcome to be. Yes, thank you.